cats and dogs who saw something their owners couldn't see. Across the rug. Jade Hensel is sitting around with her mom late one night when their dog Colt suddenly begins to freak out at something down a dark hallway in the house. Jade says that Colt is usually very calm and this kind of sudden outburst by the dog is extremely unusual. Come here. No. Let it go. Come here. Jade tells her mom that it looks like the dog is being pushed by something. And if you watch him, it does kind of look like Colt is slowly moving backwards along the floor, with his paws taking sudden slips across the wood. Oh! Did you see that? What is he seeing? I'm scared. enough to simply say that this dog is freaking out over nothing. In fact, that's basically what Jade's mom says in the clip. But then this happens. After Jade's mom says, if he goes flying across that rug, then it almost looks like something gives the dog a big push towards the rug, knocking him on his side. But what do you think? Is this a dog reacting to a ghost caught on camera? Or is little Colt just having a random freak out and slipping on the wood floor? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Ghost or just a fish story? Late one night, Reddit user Gingifer81 is filming his cat watching his fish swim back and forth in the tank. Suddenly, this happens. There are at least three pretty bizarre things going on in this video. The first, of course, is the strange orb flash in the video. But then the cat actually seems to react to it, shaking its head and turning away from the fish, seemingly confused. But it gets even stranger. As one Reddit commenter pointed out, the big fish in the tank seems to swim over and actually stare at the spot before the orb appears as if it too can see something there. So is this a cat and a fish both reacting to a ghostly orb? Or is it just a hoax? You decide. Something's in the kitchen. A woman claims that her house is haunted by an angry ghost and that her yellow lab often randomly refuses to enter certain rooms. One night, the dog seems to be frightened of something in the kitchen, something that she can't see. She pulls out her phone and records the event. Can you come here? Come here, Switch. Okay. It's 
It's okay. Come on. It's okay. It's okay, come on. Despite multiple attempts, the dog just can't seem to force himself to enter the kitchen. The owner does everything she can, including offering him food and treats. Come on, get your cookie. Come on, want a cookie? You want a cookie? Come in. Come in, cookie. absolutely will not enter the kitchen and just retreats from the hallway to hide. So do you believe the woman's claim that her house is haunted and that the dog is actually seeing a ghost? Or do you have another theory as to why the dog won't go near the kitchen? Let me know down in the comments. Cat's Eye On the YouTube channel Ghost Riders Paranormal, a guy named Chris claims that the place where he lives is haunted. In this video, Chris is setting up for an EVP session when something very bizarre happens that he doesn't even notice. But his cat definitely sees something. I just hope the cat doesn't jump up here and break the black light. Black light is really weak. It should be noted that the cat seems to sense something strange and goes over for a closer look before the door even opens. Chris says that there was no one else in the house at the time. Spot. On the YouTube channel Chuck's Paranormal Adventures, a guy, obviously named Chuck, travels to haunted buildings and locations all over the US to conduct supernatural investigations. However, on this particular occasion, he didn't have to go any further than his own kitchen. His dog Emily seems to be spooked by something that only she can see. There's a chips on the floor, the dog won't come to get him. And just to show you, I got some chips here in my hand. And I'm going to put them in a thing. See, feed them right up. And those are the same chips, and the dog will not go near them. This dog will come into the kitchen at dinner time. She'll come in when I'm eating breakfast, when somebody in the family is having something, and this other time she just will not step foot in here. And there she is. There's, I just threw a couple of uh, little corn tortillas on the floor, and she won't go near them. Something's like spooking her. Em, go ahead, get him. Right there, get him. Em, get him. See, if I toss one over to her. See, she eats it. She likes it. I just tossed some chips right there. And she stares at him like... <sighs> See, she gets within a couple of feet. She was all set to go get him. Now she's going to run around <laughs> his door and try to sneak in this way. Come on, Em, get him. Is the ghost bothering you? The ghost won't let you near the chips? 
What are you looking at? And get him. So, uh, there's your, uh, there's your life as a ghost hunter. Sometimes you never know what's going to pop in the house. Chuck even picks up one of the chips that his dog won't go near to prove that there's nothing wrong with the food. Damn, get him. Come here. Come on. Come on. Ooh, look at chips. Get him. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. See, no, I just picked one up. I just tossed it on the floor and I'll toss it over to her. When he kneels on that same weird spot, his phone suddenly shuts off on its own. As I was just standing there, my phone recorder shut off for no reason. So now we're on videotape two of this. This is a continuance because my phone just shut itself off. So I'm restarting it again. And I'm gonna try something else. Try the Alpo Dental Chew. And as you can see, she loves these. And I'm going to put it right there with the chips. And again, she has stopped <laughs> in a track. Now, you, I know there's the skeptic or whoever who's going to say, oops, I'm going to, skeptic whoever's going to say, I've put something there, but you can see, look, her ears have gone down. She's trying to get to it. It's like there's something standing right there keeping her from doing it. She wants the treat. I'm not stopping her. Em, get him! Now she's going to come around and try to sneak over here. She's, she's, see, but she stops and looks. What's the matter, Em? Who's there? Who is it? Oh, and there's the noise. She's looking around. I'm getting a chill right now, so... That, that's the uh, that's the life of a ghost hunter. You just don't know what's going to go down unless you're shaking. You want your treats here. <clears throat> See, I toss it to her. She grabs it. So it's not like I was throwing her bad food and she didn't want it. She, she wanted it. And she takes it into the other room to have a little snack. So she ate it right up. So it's not like if there's somebody here who thinks I'm playing a joke, I'm throwing bad food. I'm not. And get him. It's like there's something right there that doesn't want to do it. So we've had the chill. We just heard the little noise. She shakes, looking around. So, all right, that's enough of that. That's, uh, I could sit here for probably the next 20 minutes or so. Who knows what's going to happen. But... Again, it's just one of those weird things. Look how close she is, and she is like scared to even, she's like trying to get as close as she can to it. But here, so people don't think that this was like some trick, and I actually put bad food here. There you go, Em. See? That one spot, and there she is eating it up. So you can see, I it wasn't a trick of any type, so. And look at her, she's like afraid, now she's run off, so... Alright, that's it, that's uh, life at uh, the house of Chuck's Paranormal Adventures. And we'll have another video out uh, when I, as soon as I get around to it. Now, Chuck offers a couple of very spooky explanations for what may be going on here. Chuck suggests that since he is an avid ghost hunter, a spirit might have followed him home and is now spooking his dog. But his other possible explanation is even creepier, and also a bit sad. It seems that Chuck used to have two dogs, Emily, of course, and also a beagle who was a rescue dog. Unfortunately, the beagle had passed away almost exactly one year before this video was filmed. Chuck pointed out that the way Emily is acting is the same way that she used to act when trying to steal a treat from his beagle. He says the beagle would growl and Emily would retreat in much the same way that she does in the video. So is it possible that Chuck's home is actually haunted by his departed beagle, who's still guarding his treats? You decide. But for the more skeptical viewers who think that maybe the dog is just quirky and strangely afraid of that particular area, well, Chuck filmed a new video the very next day. 
Same spot as yesterday. M, come here. Oh, you laid a nice, see, here's a nice tree, here's the dog. I put it down right there. Well, she grabbed it and ran off because she does that. But See, she came right to the spot that was here yesterday. And took a treat and no issues. Okay, pause it a second to get some chips. Yesterday, I'm going to put the chips down and see if there's the dog in the spot where that she refused to go to yesterday having the little chips. So, so one day she's fine and one day she don't want to be there. Let's see, there she is in the spot and no issues. So, why do you think the dog wouldn't go anywhere near that spot even for her favorite treats? Let me know down below. Also, be sure to check out Chuck's YouTube channel, Chuck's Paranormal Adventures. The channel features more creepy videos like this, including another spooky video where Emily refuses to go near another bizarre spot in the house. Thanks for watching the video. Since you guys requested more Facebook extras, this week there are all new bonus stories and videos only on Facebook. You can find the link to the new videos in the pinned comment below and also in the video description. And while you're over there, if you'd like to submit a scary video for the top five, just hit the Facebook send message button.